So I haven't done too many books on partial differential equations, so I wanted to do one. And I think this is one of the best ones I have, if not maybe the best one. It's the one called Partial Differential Equations in Engineering Problems by Kenneth S. Miller. This is a really old book. Um, I believe Dover did a reprint. I'll check uh, on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's very, very clear. This is a book written mainly, I believe, for engineering students. So it's really well written, and it goes through like all of the steps in solving the differential equations, which is really hard to find. It's really hard to find a decent book on, on PDEs, in my view. Let's take a look inside this book. Look at this. This is an ex-library book, Property of U.S. Army. So you see here, you have uh, the old library cards. <laughs> it's so old school. Oh, what's this? Look, 1957. So this is from, I have to smell it. Wow, wow. I wonder if that pen is from 1957. I know this says 1957, but I don't, I don't know if that was written then, right? Maybe the book was in the library for a long time, and then, and then someone, you know, checked it out after that. No more information here, no names or anything. Nothing interesting we can, you know, be stockish about. Like, sometimes you see people's names written in books, and they're famous. I have a topology book, and I looked up the guy who signed the book on the internet, and he was, like, some famous guy who, who worked for the Department of Defense. I was like, whoa! Uh, really, really cool. So you never know what you'll find in these old books, right? Who used to own them? <laughs> Fun times. There's the inside cover, Partial Differential Equations in Engineering Problems. Oh, this book smells so good. Kenneth S. Miller, PhD. Prentice Hall, 1953. Wow, that was a long time ago. Like, so much history in this book. Here is the preface. I'll just let you read it if you like as I talk. But this book is mainly written for engineers. And really, the only prereq to this book is that you know differential equations. So if you've taken differential equations, in theory, in theory, you can just jump into this book. You're ready, right? You can do it. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit of work. But if you get stuck reading this book, just remind yourself that this is like one of the best of the best. So keep at it, right? This is probably, again, it's probably one of the best PDE books I have. Here's the table of contents. And it's pretty standard when it comes to topics in uh, PDE books. Um, I have a, another book on PDEs that I used. It's the one by Strauss. And I think this is so much better than the Strauss book. Um, it's just easier to read. Uh, the examples are a little bit cleaner. I think Miller does better. Uh, like He shows more steps, right? He gives you more of the details in the derivations and in the solutions to the DEs. And here's the rest of the table of contents. It's not a very big book. And, you know, none of the PDE books I have, I have about five or six, um, aren't that big either. They're all pretty small. I mean, this is a pretty small book. It's not, not a huge, a huge book. So this is the beginning of the book. He talks about derivation of partial differential equations. So he goes through and gives some motivation. It's really well written, by the way. It lays really flat. And he goes through some more stuff there. It's a really good read. If, if, you, if you want to learn PDEs, this is like a great book. This is one of the best uh, chapters in the entire book. It's his treatment on separation of variables. He does a really good job with this. So he basically goes through all of the steps and explains everything in a really, really clear way. Let me turn the page to show you. So for example, here he does the solution uh, of the vibrating string problem. And he goes through all of the details very, very carefully, right? He explains uh, all of the motivation behind all of the steps. I mean, it's just a really, really good uh, treatment of, of this topic. And uh, again, I have other PDE books, and I think this one, uh, just it just does a better job, right? It explains everything really, really clear. Uh, maybe it's because it's not written for math majors. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure this book is written for, like, you know, engineering majors. So it's all about, like, you know, this is the problem, and this is how you solve it. And then he also does explain like a lot of the physics and a lot of the intuition too, but there's not a lot of proofs in this book. This is not a book for, for proofs. Here's just a random page on a Fourier series. So he does a good job here going through all of the conditions, and here he uses the orthogonality conditions to uh, force some things to be zero. Uh, really, really good treatment of all of this material. One of the biggest downsides of this book is that it doesn't have answers in the back of the book. So for example, the book by Strauss does have answers. However, there's, there's typos in those too, so it's not perfect. So even though this book doesn't have answers, uh, it's still worth getting 
simply for the examples you have, like this one and the one I showed you earlier about separation of variables, having examples like that is priceless, especially in a subject like, like PDEs. Here are some of the exercises on Fourier series. And again, huge downside in my view is the lack of exercises. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't get this book, right? Because I think the clarity that this book provides in its, in its explanations makes up for the lack of solutions to the exercises. I, I don't know why um, they didn't include solutions. Um, maybe if Dover reprinted this, maybe it has solutions. You should check. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description because I'm pretty sure it was reprinted, but chances are uh, there won't be uh, solutions in that version either, unfortunately. Overall, I think this is probably one of the easiest, if not the easiest to read, book on partial differential equations. The big downside in my view is the lack of solutions. That is like the worst part. And you really want to be able to check your answers. Like if it was proofs, you know, usually you know if your proofs are right, but some of these PDEs, they're really long and you go through this long computation and it's just nice to have some confirmation. <laughs> like, did I do it right? You know, especially when you're just learning. I mean with proofs too, but I remember that was a, a particular struggle for me when I took PDEs. I used the book by Strauss and it had solutions, but not all of them. And some of them had typos and that was a big struggle. So having, having no solutions uh, is a pretty big downside. Nevertheless, this one is so much easier to read than, than books like the one by Strauss that if you're trying to learn PDEs, I think you should get this book. You can probably get an old copy like mine used. That'd be really cool if you can find an old one. I mean, look at these pages, just so awesome, so yellow. Or uh, I'm pretty sure Dover reprinted it and I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out there as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to uh, share, like, and of course, subscribe. Take care.